you are welcome. Sometimes, knowing how to go about mechanics, optics, and electricity ex experiments does not dictate that you pass your YF physics examination. Most times, we only see with our perspective and not with the examiner's perspective. How do you think why examiners grade these questions? In this particular video, I will break down how why examiners grade physics practical questions. I will do that by listing what they grade, explaining what they grade, and as well bringing out a particular past question as a case study. You may decide to jump through any part of this particular video, so check the description section for timestamp. If you are new here, Consider clicking the red subscribe button to enjoy more as we release them. What do they grade? Number one, observation. Number two, graph. Number three, slope. Number four, intercept. And at the same time, deduction. Number five, evaluation. Number six, accuracy. Number seven, precaution. At the same time, they grade the questions that you'll be given at the end of the what of the practical exam. Starting with number one, observation, you have measurement. So they check if your measure, measurement is correct. And how do they check this? You should know that there is a format, direct measurement and what? And evaluated measurement. This direct measurement, you get them directly from your words, from your apparatus. And since you get them directly from your apparatus, you are required to at least give them in one decimal place. Or more than about at least one decimal place and it must be consistent throughout as you are using the apparatus to get the same value you must make sure that what those values they are consistent if you use one decimal true throughout you must use uh, one decimal throughout if you use two decimal place for that particular value you must use what two decimal places that, uh, to the end the next one evaluated measurement that's that evaluated measurement is three so usually three decimal places because of the fact that what you have to divide through after you have gotten those values you get through your apparatus you have to what you have to add up divide multiply and all of that if you want to get more precise values you must make sure that what you uh, put them in three decimal places so that those values will not what will not uh, be taken out as you are what as you are evaluating them so when you use four figure table for evaluated measurement when you use four figure table when you use the uh, when you divide and multiply all of these things require three decimal places the next one now is why recording there could be errors so you must make sure that what parallax error is avoided you must make sure that gross error is avoided and all of that like systematic error that could what that could give you wrong experiment just note that this observation section involves that particular table you would be required to record everything that you did during the experiment you're looking at the apparatus and all of that that particular table while imputing your units as well make sure that what they are correctly imputed you you, you are not writing centimeter or what for meter all these things give mark to those that do them appropriately the next one is graph in graph they mark four things a s p l so axis is a that axis you must make sure that it was it is well distinguished in the sense that your axis for y why uh, what should be on y axis should not be on x axis what do i mean if you have something like z against y you must make sure that z is on the y axis and what and y is on the what it's on the x axis and at the same time s which is scale it means that what you must make sure that what the, the scale is normal on scale there are a lot of things and scale gives you what you need in, in, and it, in fact it impresses the examiner so it sells you out to the examiner so you must make sure you you look for a precise a, a precise and good skill but it, it's what it makes it makes your work reasonable as well at the same time appropriate skill would what would consider intercept also note that another characteristics of a good skill is that it makes your work take large portion of the graph space something like origin and all of this if they are required you must make sure that what they are uh, considered why what why the a why measuring and what and trying to scale everything up in your experiments p point so that point you must make sure that what your points are accurate as you're locating them on the graph they are accurate l 
that is what line of best fit you must make sure that what after you have done all these points the line that you will draw must what must consider those points evenly so the the, the points must what must be divided evenly across the next one that's number three that's slope so in this particular slope you know what slope means you must make sure that what is what it is accurate the next one is four deduction for deduction you must you may see it as intercept what do they mean by this they, they want you to make sure that what what you have there is correctly shown and at the same time is what it, it can be correctly read as well the next one is evaluation in, in evaluation correct substitution what do i mean by this when you are evaluating something in fact they will give you a question like evaluate this and this so you have to substitute a value into it so number one is that what they will check if while substituting those values you substitute them you, you substituted them correctly that's number one the next one now is that what they will check that after you have substituted them, substituted them correctly did you what did you do the arithmetic correctly as well on arithmetic i mean how you work out everything you have gotten after substitution to derive your answer just like you are solving something in mathematics correct arithmetic and correct substitution will earn you mark for what for evaluation the next one is accuracy they'll check your your slope very well is it accurate then you get another mark for that the next one is precaution you'll be required to give two precautions so make sure you learn those precautions for mechanics for optics for electricity learn their precautions well and the answer the questions that you should answer as well short answered questions uh, learn several questions that are on this particular part of the experiment on mechanics on optics on uh, uh, electricity and um, this would what would amount to what would what, what would scale you up for your physics practical examination now let's move to the case study our case study is yek physics practical 2019 for school candidates alternative a you see that what come on if you check the observation you some of the things i talked about the other time talking on measurement talking on the correct uh, decimal places and all of that these are some of the things they check uh, talking about uh, observation so they check consistency of the recording figure and they check the correct unit as well the next one is graph look at graph look at slope look at intercept look at the evaluation they did look at the accuracy look at the precaution to question two can you see the observation they did the graph the reduction the evaluation the accuracy and also the precaution they give for that particular experiment what's question three you have seen the, the observation the graph the slope the intercept the calculation the accuracy and the precaution they give if you look at it all these things they are what they are like if you can understand them very well they're like patterns that you can use in your examination you can check the description section for the pdf of this if i have uploaded i will not upload it right away but i will upload it soon do you need how to pass practicals click the card you can see on the screen right now don't also forget to subscribe to get more videos like this i will see you in the next video